and got a colorful aura Like I got neon uh -huh. guts My name is Angelique, but on my socials I go by Celestial Ange, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, and the topic is going to be 2020. And I know we're all ready to go into 2021 and we don't want to hear no more about 2020, but I feel like it was a good year for a reflection and we should definitely do that before we move into the next year. So if you want to hear me talk about the lessons that I've learned and that I'm pretty sure a lot of people learned this year then keep on watching and yeah you're gonna see basically how i got this makeup look too the year could have been better but honestly i feel like there was a lot to get out of this year and a lot to learn um right now i'm just gonna be doing my eyes first i need to look at my mirror so this is what i'm gonna be looking at um this concealer is the infallible infallible full wear by L'Oreal and it's in the color 415 Honey and this one is a little bit light but basically I'm just using it because I want the base for my eyeshadow to be light so that way the color pops up a little bit more. But anyways, the point of the video, what I learned from 2020. So the first thing that I learned, pretty much everybody learned, is that life is short life is so short and it should not be taken for granted um in the beginning of the year february i think it was february that's when um kobe that was really like wow i think that was the first thing that really like shook me obviously for everybody because you know it was in the beginning of the year but for me to see how much he did in his life and everything that he left behind and just the type of person that he was, that was really eye-opening for me. Because I felt like, wow, there really are no excuses. And granted, you know, he was famous or a celebrity type figure, but we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And, you know, before he got to that point, he was still doing things, learning different languages and, um, you know, constantly working at his craft and his skill, his passion, and that was so inspiring to me. Just to see everything that he did. He was writing books, learning different languages, had a family, was playing basketball, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, when did, when did you find time? Like, and you know, what I've learned too is that great things and great people aren't made by themselves. Um, learning to delegate tasks and kind of have a team behind you that is helping you supporting you and actually really wants you to succeed is so important um people don't get things done by themselves the way that it looks on the outside and that's one thing that i learned this year even with like my own business and just having a boutique i started working with somebody and it's like it's weird for me because I'm, I'm the type of person that doesn't like to ask for help. I don't like asking for help because I've had so much stuff thrown back in my face before. So I'm working through all of this and learning to just ask people for help when I need it because there's nothing wrong with help and you can't do everything. I'm not superwoman. Nobody is superwoman. So it's like when you need help, you just need to ask for help. What I also learned from this year is the importance of taking breaks. Um, I felt like I was kind of moving so fast before. It's good to be productive, but sometimes you need to take a break in order to be productive. And I feel like that's one thing that I've learned this year. And sometimes I'm just not inspired to do things. Like I've learned that I can't force myself to do something if I'm not inspired to do it because then what I create won't be good. Quality is better than quantity when it comes to anything. Um, I want everything in my life to be quality to the best of my ability. And the only way to have that is to, is to make sure that when I'm doing something, it's inspired action and not just, okay, let me do this just to do it. I haven't been posting as much. Um, Granted, that's because pandemic, I haven't been really doing anything or like going a lot of places the way I was last year. But I feel like that also showed me that I'm really not missing out on as much as I think by not engaging with social media. Um, I may not know the latest dances, <laughs> but it's just like, you know, how do you use your time? I feel like 
I've come to learn that like if I'm gonna take a break I can take a break I really did not know what I was capable of until I was put under the fire and put you know against pressure and was like a diamond was created <laughs> that was so corny but yeah I'm very proud of like everything that I was still able to do in the midst of all of this because it was a hard year mentally and also you know physically but I feel like I was kind of able to thrive and just push through just going through all of this I feel like everybody came out of this pandemic stronger than before because it's like wow I didn't even know that I was capable of withstanding and going through something like this and I came out of it mentally different I feel like I'm such a different person than I was before in the beginning of the year and it's crazy because I feel like I've matured so much just from my life experiences and taking those for what they were and applying it to the rest of my life so learning actually learning from your lessons um you know what they say like knowledge is valuable but only if you apply it to your life i really don't feel the same <laughs> i'm sure nobody feels the same after this year but like i just don't i don't feel the same and there's nothing wrong with that um yeah there's nothing wrong with that at all i'm really learning how to evolve i guess you could say and i've always said that about myself that i'm never the same person that i was every year or even like a few months you might get a different me it just depends i'm never the same person that i was because i just allow myself to change and evolve so much and that's another thing too i feel like people need to be more flexible when it comes to themselves don't be afraid to change because i've learned change is good when you're in the middle of change it really feels like shit is going south <laughs> shit is going downhill but but no planning is honestly key because without it you know what they say a person that doesn't plan plans to fail so just having an idea of where you want to go and what your next move is is honestly all that you need you don't have to have every single detail planned out although like yes that's good for certain things that you want to do but going through life it's like you don't know everything you don't know what's gonna happen um you can't predict certain things just like we didn't predict this pandemic just know what you want to do because if you don't you're gonna feel so lost and i feel like that was kind of everybody in the beginning of the pandemic it was like we didn't know what was going on we didn't know what direction we were going into the next thing that i learned is that i can truly have anything that i want out of this life any of you can have anything that you want out of life but to an extent and what I've learned is that like yes I can have anything that I want but sometimes it doesn't happen or come the way that I want or expect it to and that's just life period <laughs> that's just life period um you can't predict everything that happens but having faith having a strong faith lets you know that it is gonna work out for me regardless of what's happening right now it will work out for me that was a takeaway that I had this year and a realization that I had. I'd like, okay, sis, like, calm down, you know? Maybe it wasn't meant to happen at this time. Maybe it wasn't meant to happen at this point in your life. And that's totally okay. Yeah, so this year really showed me that, like, the power of manifestation and having a strong faith and belief system is honestly key. Me and my friend had a conversation one day and we were just talking about how spirituality and like our faith was really the only thing that got us through this year and I couldn't agree more. I've always been a pretty spiritual person but this year I feel like I was really put to the test when it came to faith and just believing in myself. Not even just faith in a higher power but faith in myself. I feel like another thing that I learned this year was the importance of moving in silence and i know everybody on twitter be like y'all swear you moving in silence would be the loudest but i feel like that's one thing that we all also learned this year um how to protect our energy because not everybody is for you the way that you think they are yeah i feel like dealing with like relationships um 
friendship wise and like just people in my life in general that's where I've learned the most you know being around different types of people learning the way that others move and just understanding that like not everybody's gonna be like you and that's good but that's another thing that I feel like was strengthened within me this year my intuition of just feeling out different people around me because yes your mouth is saying one thing but your energy and your vibe is telling on you your vibe is snitching sis your vibe is saying a different story so i've like learned how to tap into that side of myself just from being alone and kind of sitting within my own energy you become aware of what's coming into your aura and what's coming into your energy no matter who you're around and no matter if they smile on your face or not I feel like this year also taught me how to be private. You don't have to announce to everybody when you're doing something because like I said, not everybody wants to see you doing well and not everybody wants to see you succeed. Boundaries. Boundaries was actually a word that I put on my vision board in the beginning of the year because I already knew I kind of had weak boundaries, um, just like in general. I just really had to learn how to place boundaries in my life and that was really hard for me because I used to be such an open book and like such a you know open person but when you're very open with your energy to other people it becomes easy for somebody to take advantage of you and I used to get taken advantage of a lot like a lot um so I think this year I just got really tired and was like, you know what, I'm not doing this shit anymore. Like, I'm not allowing everybody to have access to me. Um, I'm not allowing everybody to have access to me because everybody does not need access to you. You need to protect your energy regardless of whether you feel like somebody is your friend or not. And I can honestly say like I've, shoot, like I've really experienced a lot this year. Um, in the midst of a panoramic <laughs> now i'm just concealing with my fenty again this is the fenty concealer in the color 400 now i'm setting my face with this luscious by lynn powder in the color butternut beige and i always talk about her because she's a small black owned business so support and her powders are non-flashback, so gotta love that. Quality, sis, quality. Now my under eyes are set. And this powder is so good. Like, I love this powder so much. The next thing that I had learned this year is um, discipline and discipline was a word that I had on my vision board for the year because I knew that's something else that I also really wanted to work on but being disciplined is like one of my most weak points in myself and I know that but it's good that I can acknowledge that because I know that it's something that I need to strengthen so like when you acknowledge something you're able to work on it more so for me i knew that i had to start being more disciplined and consistent when it came to just everything in my life but trying to teach myself discipline whether that come like physically from like exercising or just mentally um you know practicing good intentions and like positive affirmations for myself i know that consistency and discipline is the only way that i'm going to be able to see different results in my life yeah I'm trying to see what I want to do next. You see how flawless this concealer looks though? That powder is everything. I do want to try to contour, so I think that's what I'm going to do now. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to contour a little bit. I said, y'all, don't be, don't expect nothing from this video because I'm really not a makeup guru. I am still learning when it comes to like contour and all of this. Trying to do too many things at once can cause the quality of your work to like go down. And like I said, I'm 
at a point now where it's just I know what I want for myself so in order to kind of achieve that it's like I know that I can't half as nothing I cannot half as no shit because I want everything that I do to be quality I want everything that I do to be intentional so I can't just half as nothing hell no I can't half as it um if I want things to like be nice then I have to like devote all of my time and energy to one thing at a time instead of trying to do multiple things especially if I don't have a team of people who are going to help me do these things it's like I have to be present in everything that I'm doing so that I can give it my all and make it look good I just don't want to like half-ass in life anymore and it's it's weird because I feel like a lot of people don't think that they're half-assing until you find something that you're like super passionate about and you do that to the best of your ability and you're like I didn't even know that was possible I didn't even know I could do that and that goes back to the first point that I made of you don't necessarily know what you're capable of until you try something new or until you really give your all to something but yeah going off of that i feel like i've really had to learn time management this year time management is something that i've always struggled with because i've always done a lot of things in my life um always doing extracurricular activities i was never just like in one place i never really learned good time management because i was always doing something like i was always one thing after the other if i was leaving track practice i was going to dance practice if i wasn't at dance practice i was you know back at school i always was just constantly doing something yeah i feel like the only way anybody could really multitask is if like you have good time management and that's something that i'm still like i said trying to work on Just being able to talk is very therapeutic. I'm just taking whatever's excess and kind of cleaning up this contour a little bit. That doesn't look bad. I'm actually pretty satisfied with that. Um, now I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna be using that same powder from before. I may have to start doing my makeup like this on the regular because this base, I actually really like this. So I'm gonna be using this um, Fenty bronzer in the color Mocha Mami. And I'm gonna go back in over that contour. And then I'm just gonna go in underneath on my jawline and then on my chin, I'm just gonna like define that a little bit more. and yeah so that's like what the contour and everything is looking like i feel like it's not bad now i'm gonna be doing blush and like i said i always use this beauty supply blush on the lighter side or should i go yeah no i'm gonna use the lighter side <laughs> i don't feel like playing around anymore today <laughs> no thank you and i'm just applying this to my cheeks And that's basically going over like the contour and bronzer and whatever. Now I'm just highlighting to finish up the look. And I always use the Wet n Wild highlight in the color Wildflower. But like I was saying before, this is what I've learned this year. And I feel like because of everything, I'm learning to be more protective of my energy and my space because you just need to be selective. People be picky with like boyfriends and girlfriends, like be picky about your friends. That's who you need to be picky about because the people that you spend your time with 
influence who you are regardless of whether you feel like you're not influenced by anyone or not it is a fact that the people that you spend the most time around you start to develop you know the same qualities and birds of a feather flock together i'm like just learning to be selective over my time and my energy and my space and we all should i know that definitely for 2021 i want to try to attract and call in my soul tribe and just people that i know are gonna be healing and good for me and people that are going to truly support me and what i want to do not saying that i don't already have you know a few friends like that but i definitely would like to meet new people and you know expand my horizons in that sense of course my freaking camera decided to die at the end but i was already done with the makeup look so this is it y'all thank you so much for watching my video and if you stayed to the end thank you for listening to me rants and yeah i'll see you in my next video